everyone welcome to my video and today i am going to be obviously unboxing the birch box for the month of march the first item that i have here is this laura geller mascara and it says lash boss it's supposed to be a major lengthen volume and curler mascara and the color is in black this is a really unique brush so First, it's like it's pretty much spiky and very long on one side, and then the other side is really short. Look it. You see that? But basically, the other side is extremely short. So basically, this is supposed to be really good if you want a really lengthening effect, and then the shorter side is supposed to help you with your curl. I'm gonna try it out now to see how it works and honestly I didn't wear mascara to work today so I could come home and hurry up and do this video so let's see how it is so this is the after it did give a lot of length to my eyelashes not much curl but a little bit of length honestly it's not my favorite mascara only because I feel like I didn't have enough product on the brush. I know like this is a sample so that might be you know why it's performing where I don't feel like I'm getting enough of the product onto the brush but I think if I had a little bit more product I would like it or if it was the brush was a little wetter I would like it a little bit more but I did have to keep going back into the bottle just to get like more product to, to go on my eyelashes. But what I'm telling you, if you are that type of person that hates, hates clumpy lashes, I would definitely look into this mascara only because it separates like a dream. Like this kind of, this brush right here just separated my my lashes flawlessly. I really like how the bottom um side of the mascara one, where the shorter end is, I used it for my bottom lashes and it worked really well. So... I like that. I like to see like a new type of wand like this because, you know, sometimes the the bristles on the wand is too much for your bottom lashes, but for this is like a two-in-one. If you want a shorter shorter bristles for your bottom lashes, I would say definitely go for this mascara if you love to do your bottom lashes. Yeah, I think it performed um decently to be honest. And like I said, if you're somebody that likes to do their bottom lashes, I would definitely look in this. Look into this Laura Gala mas mascara and I would definitely look into it if you also love when mascaras separate your lashes. This is amazing for that. The next makeup product is this pink, like basically a lip balm. It's supposed to be a little lip pumper. It's Pink Peak Num Num. And I have the color Jack. I think there was two other options that you can get. So basically, this is more like a lipstick texture, but it comes off pretty sheer on your lips. Let me put it on for you. It has like a little minty smell to mine, which is always nice. I love mint smells, especially for my lips, but I don't like mint flavored stuff. Hmm. I think this is like a perfect little sample just to throw in your, your purse, but see how it does give off a little bit of color onto my lips. It really does feel nice on the lips as well. But yeah, it feels really nice on the lips as well. It gives a little bit of, um, a little bit of pinkiness to my lips, but honestly, this is so cute. This little size is so cute. I feel like it'll be so clutch just to throw in your purse. I don't feel any like little tingling or lip plumping effects. I just, it's really moisturizing on the lips. And I think this is going to be a perfect spring, like summer type product just to have in your purse and have, you know, carry with you. And I thought I was going to be scared, like, what if this slides too much in my purse and then it gets everywhere? But it's pretty stable. Like, you really have to push down on it for it to slide out. So it's pretty secure. That's so cute. I love how small it is. The next item I have here is the Kiehl's Facial Cream. Everybody raves about Kiehl's. I think I only tried one other product from them and I liked it. Um, I never tried their facial cream before. And this is how it looks. 
It has, um, you know, a, a lightweight texture to it, but it still feels extremely moisturizing. You can put this on your face. You can use this for your hands, to be honest. But it, it feels really hydrating even right here on this part of my hand. So I'm really excited just to see how it performs on my face. The next item I have here is this perfume sampler and it's by Rosie Jane. And if you love rose like scents, I would definitely look into this perfume because it has a couple different types of notes of rose. I'm not crazy about rose. Like I like it if it's really light in the, in the fragrance. So let's see if it's like that in this one. It smells like rose. This one has definitely smell the rose in it. You can say smell that there's other scent notes in here. I think I think it said it has like a must um snow in it and I know there was like two types of roses that was in it as well. So if you love rose, I will definitely look into this brand. It's by Rosie Jane. So yeah. Okay, and the next item I'm kind of excited about, it's those brand called Way, and this is a leave-in conditioner and I love Way scent like their products smell so good and they also perform really well like I love the wave the way wave spray it smells impeccable and it performs really well just to get like a little bit more texture in your hair or a little bit more holding your hair definitely would recommend that one and try it out so I'm just going to put a little bit at the bottom. Honestly, I use leave-in conditioner in my wet or dry hair. It doesn't really matter to me. But this smells, and it actually smells just like the um the Wave Spray, which I love. So I'm really happy. It feels really good um, on the tips of my hair. I like it. Oh, it just smells so good. It smells amazing. If you love good hair smelling products, I would definitely look into Way. They're a little pricey, but I feel like their hair products work really well for the price point that they're at. So that was all my items I received in my Birch Box. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more unboxing, unbagging videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.